Well, hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the energies, your forecast for the first half of November 2021. It's a general reading, so take what resonates. Oh, nice. Leave the rest for everyone else. And if pull out a couple of foundational cards here, and then we will get started. Because it is a general reading, you might want to look at the forecast for your moon or your rising, and you can find a link in the description if you don't know what yours are. Oh, we'll just leave. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. So, let's get started. Hey, if this does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, if you'd like to claim the reading or just tell me where you watch from, always get a kick out of that, throw a comment below the video. So let's get started here. We've got two major arcanas here, and then we've got the King of Fire and the Six of Earth. Oh, by the way, thanks again for your likes. Thanks for your subscribes to support the channel. Your comments, everything is appreciated. I appreciate you. So thanks so much. All right, temptation. This is about attachment. It's attachment to stuff that's in your playground, whether it be money or people, relationships. And this is a call um, from spirit, uh, Sagittarius, to let go of uh, that feeling of I must have. I must have, you know, uh, and, and, it's, and it's not about having stuff. It's about holding on to things too tight. So, um, spirit is asking you to remember that anything in excess isn't healthy for you. That when this card show up, it's, just, it's a kind of time to focus on, um, to be aware of the focus on the on, on on this material world, and to it's a little call to help focus uh, and direct your focus more on the spiritual aspect of your existence. Because remember, you're a spiritual being having a human experience. Now, emperor comes into play. That's about leadership. It's about authority. It's also about organization, getting your stuff in order, checking all the boxes. Um, somebody's spirit is here. And all right, I wasn't describing the spirits I see because it was kind of freaking people out, but somebody said, don't worry about it. So, all right, older gentleman, okay, uh, in the picture here, and not that tall, little rotund, funny. And he's shaking the stick and laughing at the same time. Uh, he kind of he kind of gets red in the face when he's laughing, very rotund face. Uh, and he's showing me, you know, laughing, going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they can get organized. Clean up your space. And he's laughing. So if you have someone that passed that, um, if this resonates, you know, but it's about putting more structure in your house, you know, and sometimes, you know, they say cleanliness is less the godliness. Well, guess what? Once you clean up your space, the clutter is gone. It takes things off your chest. It takes things off your mind. It takes that clutter out of your energy space and helps you structure things on the go forward. So really, this is a great card for you uh, as you're moving forward the first half of November. You've got this king, by the way, the king of um, fire. And so fire, you know, what do you think that represents? Enthusiasm, getting up off your butt and being able to move in a positive direction, getting um, motivated. And so I see a lot of motivation this period to structure, to release um, that attachment to, to things, you know. And this is about also, you know, this is about leading the lion. This is also about leadership you know, showing by example and showing your mastery. All right. And then you've got the six of earth. I love the sixes. The six is always about um, uh, the earth cards. The earth card is about being grounded. The earth card is also about material things. It's about abundance. It's about uh, understanding that there are unexpected resources at your disposal here. All you got to do is ask. This is about 
happy surprises. So happy surprises during this period in the first two weeks for you. Let's get a little clarification from the smallest, most slippery deck in the world. And thank you, spirit. Wow. Okay. That was fast. And, you know, I do pre-shuffle these cards before um, we come out here. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. All right. Any more cards here for us, Spirit, on this? All right. Saying the obvious. Okay. Thanks. All right. So what do we have here? We have this 10 of uh, rods, 10 of uh, sticks. To, to, you know, whatever you call it, all right? The H deck is different, okay? Or as I like to call it, the big thicket of sticks. Too many, too many things feeling over, feeling burdened, weighed down, the weight of, the weight of the world on your shoulders. Um, and that's stuck in the material world. And sure it is. You know, this is about... You feel unburdened and overwhelmed. Why? Because maybe you're not as organized as you should be. This is about structure and organization. Uh, and if you structure things, if things won't feel so heavy. Also, stop taking on more than you can chew. You know, I'm getting that. And I know that's probably a 1920s spirit that is t showing me that. Um, somebody that was born in the 20s or spent a good majority of their time in the 20s, um, fair-haired uh, gal. And she's like, you know, lighten up. You know, do you think things with well, were hard are hard now? They're, they have always been hard. It's just that the challenges are different. Then I have someone else's spirit saying, if you have no idea what hard is. <laughs> so get yourself some structure, you'll feel better. Have a little bit of uh, patience with yourself. Uh, temperance, you know, yeah, it's about being <sighs> cognizant and aware of what you're saying, but it's also about having patience. You know, things are aligning for you because we have expansion here with the Hierophant. We have the ability to expand our space and expand we will. Expanding into uh, possibly new work, new relationship, new beginning right here. And a new beginning that is um, a connection or a combination between um, that higher self connection and a material connection. You've got red, I don't know if you can see it in here, you've got the little red flowers from the tiny deck here. Uh, and you also have the white flowers. White flowers are um, associated with the crown chakra, connections that are bigger than the physical. Okay. Um, and then we have the red, and the red is. Rooted and uh, grounded in the material or root chakra. So uh, whether it be work or relationship, there'll be this balancing combination is what I'm getting from somebody's spirit. Uh, definitely a grandma type, uh, darker skin. She's saying there'll be a good balance for you here. And, you know, you see the coin is balanced in the hand. Uh, it will reap you the benefits, reap you the quan, the money, the abundance. And abundance in this case could be money, and it could be peace, harmony, and positive relationships. So it's a, it's up to you whether you're going to walk, want to walk through. Sorry, <laughs> walk through that door, and <sighs> yeah, both of these. We've got the king and the queen of swords to reiterate one more time, or validate, reiterate, it's working smarter, not harder. So usually when I see one of these two cards, that's what it reminds me of. That's what comes to me. And guess what? And we got them both. So that's really drilling home. It's time to use your head. You can have what you want without feeling so overwhelmed. It's time for you to get up Organize yourself and stop working so hard. Just work smart. And you'll save yourself a lot of heartburn, ajita. So somebody's somebody's uh, past relative must be Italian. Ajita. They save yourself with some ajita. That's what I'm getting from this past loved one. So, hey, I know you guys have got this. 
So have a great first half of November and uh, changing things up moving forward. You'll see a lot, a lot more flavorful readings in the, in the coming future. Enjoy. And thanks again for clicking that button to subscribe, to support the channel and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Take care.